John Rowe is storyteller extraordinary for the last 30 plus years. Tells stories all over the country. And all over the world. And all over the world. I was coming to that. Yeah. Including Marrakesh in February, which sounds great. But here today in Tetbury at the Good Shed. Wonderful. It's lovely. It's lo and it's a lovely little family festival. And it's the first of the family festivals that I've done this year. Right. I've done about seven big sort of folk festivals and sort of different festivals around the country. Most of the time I've been doing... Um, I've been curating a storytelling site through lockdown uh, called worldstorytellingcafe.com and uh, we've got over uh, 300 tellers from about 20, 30 countries, everything's archived and we're still putting on three shows a week um, and uh, I moved down to Swindon about five years ago and uh, so Although I work around the world, I, you know, I, 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 it would be great to do more, more in Gloucestershire and Wiltshire, it, it's because it's. Um, and uh, fortunately, I bumped into a wonderful singer called Deborah Hannes, and uh, she has the local knowledge, so she finds my work around this area. Bless her heart. <laughs> well done, Deborah Hannes. 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 That's right. Um, John, going back to what you said about the the World Storytelling website, yes. where there's over 300 storytellers, right? How does that work? So you, you do a show that's um, that's live. Well, well, how we work is, uh, uh, I mean, that's over the year and a half period. There's over 300 yes. storytelling. That's our all archived. Now we do live shows, and that's simple. You just go onto the site. Um, it has the schedule, on the home page has the schedule, and the next show up is always sort of uh, well featured, and there's a little gold button on there, a gold button that you click on, it says join story, and that takes you straight into the Zoom, so you don't need a code or anything, and um, my techie in Marrakesh... Um, it's run from Romania, Marrakesh, in this country. It's, Brilliant. Uh, and uh, my take in Marrakesh will let you in. You have to wait in the waiting room. And, uh, and then you come. And then you come, and you can come in just as a listener or as a teller. And uh, um, so we have open, uh, sort of a, almost open mic sessions. There's one next Sunday. Um, and that, that happens every two weeks, which is called the Worldwide Story Round. So people can come on and tell stories from all over the world. I do an open mic also for under 18, 18 years and under for young teller, young international tellers. Brilliant. And we have children, we've got three regular children coming on between the ages of nine and 15 oh, from oh, India. As young as nine? Yeah, okay. and, and, uh, and India and sometimes from Gaza, sometimes from Nigeria. So it's been, we've, we actually... Uh, we did, in fact, uh, we called it world, and then we had, our ambition was to make it world, and we got vaguely in that direction. Yeah. So, so this, this is fantastic. So there's no entry uh, protocols. You just hit the gold button, mm. and in you come once the guy in Romania allows you in. Well, is that right? Or, or the guy in Marrakesh. Or the guy in Marrakesh. Or the guy in Marrakesh. So uh, how long does a session then last for, John? Um, it, Minimum is uh, three quarters an hour. Children, that we do always do a ch thing for children on Friday, for children on Friday. So it's stories for children on Friday, usually six o'clock in the evening and uh, UK time. Um, and uh, they're about three quarters an hour. Sometimes the open mic ones last an hour and a half. So, you yeah, know, it's kind of um, length of piece of string, really. Okay, understood. Now, you, you already know it's a, it's a world site, so it's, it's covering the whole globe. But given the, the time aspects, how, how do you cope with uh, people logging on from the U US, uh, uh, for example, comp in comparison with people in, in Japan? Well, so, so what... Um, so USA is not is not so much of a problem, but the Far East and Australia is. So once a month, I do a ten o'clock in the morning open mic for uh, our Asian Australasian storytellers. So we we recognise the time differences, and when we schedule, I always put UK time after. Um, so we do 
we got some regulars from USA and Canada. Right. We've had people from Latin America, um, sometimes telling in Spanish, mainly, and then try and get a good translation of English. But it's, um, yeah, we've, uh, we, we, we've tried our best to cater for the world. And the festival in February, again, there's no tickets, it's all by donation. We're trying to fill the Medina with stories. We'll have our own physical storytelling centre there and the cafe. But with the Riyadh, which of course have been hit by, the tourism has been hit like everywhere else. But about 19 Riyadhs have donated us a room to put our storytellers in. And uh, we're hoping people will book into those Riyadhs. So each Riyadh becomes a storytelling uh, sort of venue in itself. Right, that is lovely. Uh, it's um, and we've we've, we've got we're getting storytellers from around the world coming to that. You must take a bite on your ice cream before um, you lose that. But um, you mentioned, I think, that you've got an archive of all the stories. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So if someone's missed a ten o'clock slot, you just you just world, look it up, and uh, you uh, well generally you go. There's a, on the homepage there's recent performances, so you don't have to trudge through the archive. Yes. Um, you go to recent performances, but if you think, oh, I'd like to see uh, a particular teller, you can click on uh, stages, I think, and then it's one of those sort of follow it through the site. And you click on artists, and all the pictures come up, right. and you click on that, and that will tell you that that, well, that has what that has the what these archive from that artist. Marvelous. John, this is terrific, and um, we will do something with this. We will have bits on Tepri Connect and, uh, and see where all this goes for you. It sounds Thank absolutely you. marvellous. Thank you very much. Our Thank pleasure. You. Our Thank absolute you. pleasure. Fantastic. So, just very quickly, and then we'll let you finish your ice cream. Um, if someone wants to be a teller, is there a, is there a process to go through? I mean, you, an audition, for example? Well, nowadays probably better just come on to the, one of the worldwide story rounds and just uh, you know and just 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 tell the story oh wow right. have a can, go have a go come and the only harm you can do to a story is not to tell it right <laughs> well we will definitely be on that well john thank you very much for your time thank enjoy you. your day here thank and you. all the very best great thank to meet you, you. marvelous all right you. super all the best <laughs>